Silverback Gorilla versus Black Bear. Who would win in a fight between these two beasts? Well, watch to the end to find out since this is going to be a very interesting video. First up, we have the American Black Bear. This beast roams all across North America, typically in the deciduous and coniferous forests near bodies of water. They are considered omnivorous, but their diet mainly consists of vegetation and roots. On the occasional chance they do eat meat, it generally comes from fish or small animals rather than actively hunting large game. Black bears vary greatly in size depending on their environment, with the east coast black bears tending to weigh significantly more than their west coast counterparts. A typical mature male eastern black bear can grow between 300 to 440 pounds and 5.5 and to 7 feet tall standing upright. When it comes to weapons, black bears have surprisingly strong forelimbs, although they don't often show their power due to their timid and curious nature. A 120 pound black bear was observed flipping over a rock that weighed around 325 pounds with a single forelimb. That's 2.7 times its body weight. If we reference that feat to a black bear that weighs 300 pounds, then it would be capable of moving a rock around 800 pounds. And if the bear is 400 pounds, it would be capable of moving a rock around 1,000 pounds. Black bears are great climbers and often rest in trees or climb them to find honey and fruits. They have curved, non-retractable claws that can grow between 2 to 4 inches in length. This allows them to climb easier, dig through the ground, grip their environment, and of course for brawling purposes. Like I mentioned previously, black bears are generally non-confrontational creatures, but they will fight for mating rights, territory, and protecting their young. Black bears also have a decently powerful bite force, which comes to around 650 psi. Their average skull length is between 10 to 13 feet in length, and their snout protrudes out significantly more than the gorilla's, making the black bear have a bite reach advantage. Their teeth are also better suited for a carnivorous way of life and seeking to its opponent's body. When it comes to defense, black bears have thick, brownish black fur and lots of fat covering their entire body. Although their fur is not as coarse or shaggy as a brown bear's, it can still counter a great amount of strikes from its opponent. The skeletal structure and muscle anatomy of a bear makes it a great tanky build that can absorb a lot of damage and blunt force going to the body. Its physique allows it to be a great grappler and strike with a lot of force using a forelimb. So, overall, the black bear would have a pretty good defense for an animal of its size. When it comes to speed, black bears can sprint between 25 to 30 miles per hour in short bursts and are surprisingly nimble. Bears in general are known to have great stamina and endurance, with some fights lasting more than 8 minutes long. However, since black bears tend to be passive, their brawls might not last as long as brown bears or other bear species. They generally have the same stamina capabilities, but they don't utilize it a lot in face-offs due to their docile nature. When it comes to fighting knowledge, black bears face off with other members of their own species and the occasional mountain lion. When the opportunity presents itself, they intimidate and scare off other bears and predators from their kills. They do not encounter any creature similar to a gorilla on a day-to-day -day basis unless you count humans, which they tend to stay away from and rarely attack. So, overall, the black bear would have an okay amount of fighting knowledge and experience. Alright, let's move on to the silverback gorilla. These beasts mainly inhabit the lowlands and rainforests of Central Africa. They are mainly herbivorous, eating fruits and lush vegetation, but they do occasionally eat insects. The largest gorilla subspecies is the Eastern Lowland Gorilla, which inhabits the eastern lowlands and rainforests of the DRC. A typical mature silverback gorilla weighs between 350 to 460 pounds and stands between 5 feet 6 inches to 6 feet tall upright. So, the silverback and eastern male black bear would be around the same weight and height standing up, with the bear being slightly taller on two legs. When it comes to weapons, 
Gorillas have a really powerful upper body and long arms with a span between 8 to 9 feet long. Having such a long arm to body ratio allows the gorilla to move quadrupedally and climb trees with ease. Gorillas have poor control over their individual muscles, so when they do tasks like striking, they tend to use all their arm muscles. When silverbacks fight, they tend to favor the striking method of clubbing, pushing, and tossing their opponents. They cannot punch because they are incapable of making fists. Silverbacks have also been known to use their environment as weapons like throwing rocks and sticks. However, those actions are aimed to intimidate and distract rather than to severely injure. Even if the gorilla manages to throw a rock at the black bear, it likely would not deal that much damage due to their poor throwing power. But, overall, the gorilla would have a reach advantage due to its longer limbs and use of its surroundings. When regarding bite force, the silverback would theoretically have a higher bite strength, but there are multiple reasons why the largest primate would have a disadvantage when concerning the usage and damage output of its jaws. For starters, the silverback's teeth are designed for its herbivorous diet, breaking branches, and intimidation purposes rather than sinking into the muscle and flesh of its opponent, unlike the bear. The longer snout and skull of the black bear would also give it a bite reach advantage along with its deadlier teeth, making it easier for the bear to bite and inflict more severe wounds. To find out more about a gorilla's strength, I would recommend the video I posted not too long ago called The True Strength of a Gorilla. I go more into depth about how powerful a gorilla is and its capabilities. Feel free to check it out. When it comes to defense, silverbacks have dense muscles but relatively easy to penetrate skin. Gorillas do have hairs covering their back and arms, but it would not provide any realistic defense buff. So, overall, the black bear would have a better defense than the gorilla. When it comes to speed, silverbacks are said to run between 20 to 25 miles per hour in short bursts, which is on par with what the black bear can achieve. They are quite nimble and maneuverable on land and when climbing. In terms of stamina, gorillas are built for explosive movements due to their high number of fast twitch muscle fibers. So, the gorilla would not have good stamina compared to the black bear. When it comes to fighting knowledge, Silverbacks face off with other members of their own species and the occasional leopard. However, it does not face off against any creatures resembling a bear on a day-to-day -day basis. So, overall, the silverback would have an okay amount of fighting knowledge and experience, with it being on par with the black bear. Alright, we have our stats. So, who would win in a fight between a silverback gorilla and a black bear? Let's say this battle takes place in an open field and both creatures are willing to fight one another. There are multiple factors we have to consider, so I'm going to give two different verdicts. If the fight involves a western male black bear, which is typically between 200 to 220 pounds, against a mature silverback gorilla, which is between 350 to 430 pounds, I would say the silverback gorilla would win 80% of the time. Along with having a pretty large weight advantage, the silverback would have more strength in its upper body and a longer reach advantage to club, toss, and injure the black bear with its powerful arms. Sure, the silverback would come out wounded, but ultimately I can see it winning most of the time against a western black bear. However, if this fight involves an eastern male black bear, which typically weighs between 300 to 440 pounds, against a mature silverback gorilla, which is between 350 to 430 pounds, it would undoubtedly be a very close and hard-fought brawl, but I would say the eastern black bear would win 55% of the time. It is around the same weight and height as the gorilla, along with it being around the same strength. The black bear has better weaponry, like its large claws and elongated snout filled with sharp teeth that can cut through the gorilla's skin pretty easily, leaving deep wounds and heavy blood loss. It also has a better defense, that being its thick fur and lots of fat to help protect it against the gorilla's blunt force. The black bear would also have a stamina advantage, so in a prolonged fight, the odds of the bear winning would go up. 